If you drive the interstate regularly, you no doubt have wondered where the sign is to direct you to this ramp. It connects 264 East with I-64 West. No small interchange. We went to the highway department to find out why a perfectly good and moderately expensive ramp wasn't being advertised. The sign used to be there, but it's not anymore, and it's no accident. We purposely took the signing off just to discourage people from using this ramp. Highway engineer Dennis Morrison points out that the traffic patterns in that area just became too dangerous. Because it was very difficult for them to get over to this ramp because of the people utilizing the ramp from 64 to 44. They had to crisscross and it was a very short distance to crisscross. There were a lot of accidents. Try as they might to anticipate future needs, the designers of the interstate system in this area 20 years ago when it was built, well just didn't. They couldn't have guessed that some 80,000 vehicles a day would be using the ramps and roads here. I wouldn't call it a goof, I would call it a, uh, a population explosion down here in the Tidewater area. Instead of closing the ramp completely, they decided to steer us away from it. So now, to get to I-64 toward the airport in Richmond from 264 East, you have to be alert. We have advanced signing on 264 at the military highway interchange. If you don't get over fast, a concrete median blocks you from getting over at all. And if that happens, well, you better know about the unknown unsigned ramp in Norfolk. Howard Jaffe, The Daily News.